I've always considered myself a collector of knowledge. My mind is like the warehouse at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. But instead of artifacts, it's just facts. <laughs> and now that I was a full-time college student, my collection was about to grow exponentially. Welcome to the world of philosophy. Most college courses are about teaching you things that you don't know. Here, I'm going to teach you that you don't even know what you think you know. Oh boy. The Chinese philosopher Zhuang Zi believed it was possible he didn't really know anything because he might just be a butterfly dreaming that he was a philosopher. Yes, he wasn't a butterfly. Well, how do you know? The butterfly brain doesn't contain enough neurons to generate a complex dream. Plus, you refer to him as Chinese philosopher Zhuang Zi and not Chinese butterfly Zhuang Zi. You must be Sheldon Cooper. Yes, ma'am. Very well, Mr. Cooper. How do you know you're not just dreaming butterflies can't dream? Because I'm awake. Or are you dreaming you're awake? You can see I'm awake and you can hear me talking. Yeah, I don't know. I saw some pretty trippy stuff at a Grateful Dead concert. The drummer turned into a tap dancing walrus and floated away. So we can't really trust our senses, can we? We can validate them by comparing them with other observers. Mm, but that would mean that we have to hear what they say, which requires trusting our senses. Do you see a problem with your argument, Mr. Cooper? I could concentrate better if you weren't flashing your toes at me. She displayed complete contempt for science. She claimed that knowledge was a myth, and then she told the class they could take their shoes off. Some of them did. Luckily, we've established you're a mature young man capable of figuring this out on his own, so... Go get him, sport. But as a man of science, aren't you offended by this? Sheldon, this is a college campus. You come across all sorts. Anarchists, communists, vegans. There's a fellow in the religion department that believes God has two women and their names are Wendy and Claire. But to say nobody actually knows anything, how could she know that? It's a contradiction. How about I blow some bubbles out of a bear's head and we call it a day? I don't know how I'm going to last all semester with this freewheeling hippie. Sheldon, I don't know what to tell you. If you're that unhappy, just drop the class. Of course. Drop the class. This is college. I can do that. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. From now on, I'm coming to you with all my problems. The statement on the other side of this sign is true. Ugh. Professor Erickson! Mr. Cooper, welcome. How can I help you? I would like to drop your class. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I enjoyed our discussion about skepticism and butterflies. I'm a scientist and I don't find those types of questions worth my time. And butterflies are just worms that can chase you. <laughs> the questions of philosophy are extremely challenging. People have spent 2,000 plus years trying to solve them without success. So if you feel like giving up, I don't blame you. I'm not giving up, I'm saying they're not important. Okay, so what is important? The acquisition of factual knowledge. And how do you know if something is factual? You test it and see if it holds true. And how do you know that that's factual? You're doing it again. Maybe you're dreaming I'm doing it. How was your first day? Infuriating. <laughs>